the fallen state is amazing. Subscribe now. You okay? Oh, I'm feeling better than ever. Are you all right? Yes, I'm all right. Are you racist? Am I what? What, what, are you, what are you think of these people now? Why? Why are you stay you here? Said, are you racist? Am I racist? Yeah. No, I'm not a racist. Why do you ask that? Well, why? Why, this... why is it that people who stand up for America and who want to protect our own borders, why are we always trying to be backed up with the racist thing? I'm standing here with a black man. If I was a racist, are this is racist? my brother right here. If I'm if I'm are standing with him, how can I be a racist? Are I'll you a racist? No. So why would you ask him if he's a racist? Well, let me let me see. What, why would you ask that question? What what? Why I'll you stand why here? And you why? Ask, you ask him because he's white and you want to get away with this racist remark. Are you a racist? No, no. So why do why is it that he a racist because he's standing up for the country? Do you like the, the, peop, the Latin people? Do, do you, you have, like do them? Do you like them? You no, like, no, no. Do you like them? Yeah, I, do you I like Latin America? people. Do you like America? Yeah. Then what's the problem? You should be out here picking in with us. That's a dumb question to ask. You're asking that question so you can use it on your program to make him look like a racist. Why don't you ask me am I racist? Because I'm black, right? I love America too, and I think these illegal aliens need to be shipped back to their country. So uh, why is that racist? You are racist for asking him that question. Thank you, Jesse. And Thank you're only you. doing it because he's white, and that's what you're going to show on, on your report tonight. You shouldn't play that kind of game. What kind of? That's a dumb question. Shame on you. You should be ashamed of yourself. Yes. You are in America take, taking advantage of all the benefits that America has to offer, and your only comment, are oh, you a racist? That doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Welcome to the Fallen State. I'm Jesse Lee Peterson. Immigration is not leaving the headlines anytime soon. As Joe Biden said to Barack Obama, it's a big effing deal. I have with me Juan Rosas. He is of the Border Angels. Explain to us what Border Angels is. Border Angels, uh, first of all, is a nonprofit organization which uh, focuses on, you know, helping out the immigrants, uh, immigrant rights, for example. Um, one of the main focuses that we do is, you know, help, you know, wel welcome the immigrant, make, make them feel welcome here in the U.S. As well as, as, well as in, um, uh, in our border cities with Tijuana and Baja, you know, as well as Mexicali as well. And when you say helping uh, immigrants' rights, you're referring to the illegal aliens <clears throat> coming across the borders, right? The undocumented people, yes. And what rights do they have? You know, we, uh, here in the United States, you know, we all, whether you are documented or undocumented, we all have, we all have rights. What rights do the illegals have? They're coming in illegally. What rights are you, do they have? The undocumented people, you mean, uh, have, you know, we, they have, you know, we, everybody here, documented or undocumented is protected with um, the same rights that with that a U.S. citizen has, really? that a U.S. resident has. So you're saying that the illegal aliens, they break the law to come here and they come illegally and they have the same rights that I have under the Constitution? Most undocumented people come into the U.S. legally, whether it is um, uh, usually, whether it is with a visa or under political asylum. Well, now we do, have, we do have, we do have, and I am aware, you know, people that come into the United States illegally. Right. You know. Um, and do those illegal aliens have the same rights that the American citizens have? They do. They are protected. Yes. They have the same rights under the Constitution. Not all. Not all the same rights, but they are. They do have some rights that what, are. That what they rights are do they have once they break the law to get here? You know, what, what rights do they have? Give me an example. On our uh, First Amendment, you know, they do have rights to, um, you know, to, to an attorney, for example, to have legal counsel, whether they are here legally or illegally or undocumented. Um, they, you know, they do have the same rights as we all do of free speech, you know, <laughs> the, as of, as are of now. Are you joking or what? 
No, I'm not joking. You re you really believe that? They, well, you know, up Are until they put a stop. Yes, I am. You believe in God? Yes, I do. And so what you're saying now is, are you telling the truth? I am. You're telling the truth. Mm -hmm. You're saying that illegal aliens have the same right that the American citizens have under the Constitution. That is right. And you're a Christian. Yes, I am. How did you get involved with, with uh, Border Angels? Uh, a couple of years ago, I became involved with them by, by being a volunteer, you know, by leaving, um, by visiting a cemetery out in Hopeville where there are about a little over 700 uh, immigrants that are buried in, in shallow graves there. And so, you know, they took a group of us. I went as a volunteer for the first time with Border Angels. And after that, we ended up leaving um, some water out in the desert. And then from there, I started to get more involved with some of the shelters in Tijuana, where we had a lot of Haitian refugees uh, that had arrived then. You know, and so we went to a couple of their of the shelters there, providing food, providing clothing uh, that were donated that we took as well, as well as food supplies. And then from there, we just went ahead and uh, expanded, opened our own chapter in Amazing. San Bernardino County. Do you have, as a Christian, do you have any guilt at all that you are doing wrong? You, because as a Christian, you, uh, you have a higher calling in that you're supposed to set the example, keep the law of the land and keep the laws of the heart. Do you feel guilty that you are breaking the laws of the land and other people are seeing a Christian break the laws? Does that bother you? It does not bother me at all. Amazing. Because I, as a Christian, you know, we're also called to help others. But are you called to help them break the law? I'm not, I'm not saying I'm helping them to break the law. Uh, why not? Because from, why what are you you, not because from what you asked me, you know, you asked me, you know, what is it that, how is it that I got involved? And I got involved by taking donations to, to refugees, taking donations to immigrants that are traveling through Mexico. Um, and you guys go down to the border, you leave water at the border, you give them correct. water and stuff like that. We don't give them water. We do leave water out in the desert in hopes that, you know, uh, a migrant crossing the border, you know, may, may be able to get that water. You know, because as we know, you know, water is life. And if they are able to get, you know, some, you know, some of that water that we leave out in the desert, you know, we, in our minds and in our hearts, we hope that they, you know, by drinking that water, that their lives are saved. Some of them come right through Mexico to this country. If they are truly refugees, why don't they stop in Mexico and stay there? A lot of them, um, a lot of them do stop in Mexico and stay. And the reason why they stop in Mexico and stay is because they have asked uh, political asylum, for, you know, to come into the U.S. And a lot of them have been denied. But Mexico uh, is training <clears throat> them, telling them what to say and how to act once they get to our borders. I don't believe Mexico yeah. is telling them. Oh, yeah, they're telling them that. Okay. Well, uh, from what I understand, they are not telling them. You know, um, Mexico is telling them that. Is that wrong for Mexico to tell them what to do when they get here, how to act, what to say? Is it wrong for Mexico to do that? Well, I, I, just, I do disagree with that comment. You know, they, as from what I know, Mexico is not telling them to, but, but to do and are, say. But is that wrong to tell them that? If they are getting counsel, you know, and if it's wrong, then yes. But I do not believe that Mexico, as of now, is counseling them and, as to say, in order for them to be able to no, come in. Are. I do. Well, so I do know that you know Mexico, with this migrant caravan that just arrived, did um, grant them a a thirty month, sorry, a thirty day visa for them to travel through Mexico. After thirty days, their visa expires, and they're actually considered to be undocumented in Mexico and they have to return back to their countries. We're talking migrants that are coming from Central America. So just for the record, if Mexico is telling them what to say and teaching them what to do when they get to our borders, is Mexico wrong for doing that? If they were saying it, yes. Okay. But I do not, I do not uh, agree that they are telling no, they them are. What, to, what to say. No, they are. Let me ask, are you born, were you born in the United States? I was born in Mexico. You were born in Mexico? I was born in Mexico. And are you a U.S. citizen? Yes, I am. And did you come here illegally? No, I came here with a visa. 
Oh, so why can't you tell them to do that? Why can't what? Why don't you tell these other ones to do the same thing? Come in in the right way. Because every, every person's case is different. Every person's case is different. From If you were to speak to, uh, I mean, every person that, that is asking the United States government to come and allow them to be in the United States, every person and their family, they need to look at their case individually. No, but they can they should come through the front door so they can do that. Not not the back door like and thieves. They're, no, they're not. You know, um, are they, they breaking the law by coming here illegally? If someone comes here illegally, yes. So but they are breaking the law. No, they're not because they are going through customs. No, they're, they're jumping going the through fence. No. Well, yes, yeah, some of them are. Is and I illegal? and I agree there. But you also have those people that are going through customs, going through border patrol with their paperwork asking for political asylum. Amazing. Uh, were your parents born here? No, my, pa my parents and myself we were born in Mexico. Uh, did your parents come here illegally? My parents and I came the same way with a visa. And how old were you when you came? I was a year and a half. Do you, a year and a half, do, are you an American citizen? I'm a naturalized American citizen. And do you love this country? Yes, I do. Do you love it enough to protect it from the illegal aliens? I do. What? Yes, I do. But you, you're helping the illegal aliens to get here. I'm not, I, I'm not saying I'm helping the undocumented get here. I'm, help, I'm telling you that we are helping those people across the border, <laughs> no, across the border, by helping them get their paperwork processed through immigrations. Now, we also go out, and, uh, and I mentioned, and we leave water out of the desert. I saw that. Okay. Now, when we leave out water in the desert, it's, it's just for them to, for anyone, you know, if they, if they find water, you know, to get, a, you know to, get a, to get a drink, to hopefully save a life. Amazing. Now, I'm, whether I'm helping them uh, come into this country illegally, the, uh, the question is no. They're coming on their own. But once they get here, you're helping them to get here. We're, once they get to the border, we're helping them get their paperwork processed into, into U.S. Customs. Uh, what's the name of the guy that found the border angel? The name of the person is called Enrique Moren Morones. Oh, yeah. He's down in San Diego. Never? That's correct. He's an evil, evil man. As a Christian, how are you able to support him? Well, how is he an evil, evil man, as you state? Because he's, he's not an honest person. I've seen him in different interviews. How is that? He pretend like he doesn't know that these people are illegal, like they should be here, and that we're wrong for not wanting them to come here. And then he started this whole border angel thing. It's just all wrong. As a Christian, how do you resolve within yourself, I'm going to work with this bad guy? <laughs> okay, well, um, as I mentioned earlier, you, know, you're, you asked me if I was a Christian. And, um, and you, you commented a couple of times that you were a Christian yourself. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. And as Christians, we are called to help others. Is that correct? In the right way, yes. In the right way. Yeah, not help okay. others break the law. We're not, we're not saying that we're helping others break the law. And now you're asking me about Enrique Morón, the Enrique. founder of Border Angels, and how he is an evil man because he is, he is helping, uh, as you say, illegals. You know, proper word would be undocumented people. Why would it be undocumented? Because they are here if they're coming without here illegally. Because they are they are coming here. They may be crossing the border illegally. Maybe or they are. Okay. Maybe Those, or there they are. There is a group of people that yes, they that they are. Okay. Those people that are crossing through the mountains, crossing through the hills, yes, they're they're crossing the border illegally. And now, is that right? As a Christian, is that right for them to do that? As a as a Christian, I mean, it's I think it is very every person's and individual's choice to, to make. Is it right? Now, it is, it is, As a it Christian, is wrong is it once right? it is, you know, if you think, of, if you think of, that it is wrong and it's I'm consciously wrong, then Christian, it is wrong. Is it right? Is it right to? To break the law to come here. It is not right to break the law. So then they're not right in coming here in that way, right? Not if they're crossing the hills, right? But like I said, you know, they all, we all, they all have different 
ways in which in which they do it. But one they of them, one of them, their own ways. No, they cannot. They cannot. But like I said, you know, one of them, one of the ways to do it properly is through go is going through customs. It's going through through border patrol office, submitting their paperwork. That's not the right way to do it. Why is it? Why is it not? Come through the front door. You. So do you feel like you're betraying, betraying your country by bringing in illegal aliens? Do you feel like you're betraying your country? No. My name is Enrique Morones, and I'm the executive director and founder of Border Angels Angeles de la Frontera. We're an organization that tries to save migrant lives by going to the desert and placing water, by visiting day laborers that are standing around looking for work. We shifted our focus from the canyons to the desert to the day laborers, and now we're not only in San Di the San Diego Tijuana region, we're all over the country. We should love our neighbor, we should be working with our neighbors, and not treating them as the other. So what this, these walls are meant to do is keep the people from crossing from city to city, forcing them to cross in the most extreme areas. And what's, what's really sad is that you have two to three people dying every day. You have literally thousands of people that cross through here. This is one of the areas where they do cross and you can see footprints. Enrique knows this path well. Illegal aliens wait for the sewers to fill with water and hide in them in order to avoid being spotted by the patrols. According to your website, uh, Border Angels fight for social justice. First of all, do you fight for social justice? Yes, I do. And what is social justice? Well, uh, you know, fighting for the rights of everybody, of everybody, not just the, the undocumented, okay, but social justice, you know, civil rights as well. What do you mean? What do I mean? You know, if, you know, we, it's not just, you know, I mean, social justice in this case, with Border Angels is helping the is helping the immigrant. It's helping the migrant. The illegal, um, the undocumented. Okay. Uh, so social justice can also be you know helping those that 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 may be in need. For example, okay, we help we help those that. Who do you help that's in need, other than the illegals? Other than the undocumented mm -hmm. would be, for example, those looking for work. You at help Home them. Depot. You let them look for work. I don't help them look for work. Who do you help? You look know, for we work? help them with, by giving them resources, not look for work, but oh. help them by giving them resources to local mental, dental, um, and um, and health services. Okay. Is it fair to the American citizens that you're doing this to them? When when we're helping these these people that are that are looking for work, we are there as a resource. You Is know, it we fair are we are to providing the resources. That you are. Uh, doing the social justice things, this social justice outreach with illegal aliens. Is that fair to the American citizen? Um, well, let, let me see. Well, you're asking it whether it is fair right. that we are doing a social justice. For illegal aliens. Okay, for undocumented people. Is that fair to the American citizen? It depends. It, it, it's, I'm not going to say it is because social justice, it, you cannot just determine whether it is fair or not. Why not? Because social, social justice is an act of helping someone else. Social justice, now, if, if I were to ask you, you know, um, what social justice is to you, you know, um, whether whatever topic or whatever example it may be, it's the same question that I may ask. Well, is it, is it fair or unfair to those that, that do not fall under that category? <laughs> is it fair to the American citizen that you're doing this social justice thing with the illegal aliens? I'm not going to say whether it is fair or not because Why again, not? because social social justice is an act, is an individual act of the person to help someone else. Is it a fair act? It is a fair it's act. It's a right act. It is a fair act. But not right. It could be right. Do you support the Constitution of the United States? Yes, I do. You, how do you support it if you're breaking it? How am I breaking it? By doing this with the illegal aliens, bringing them into our country, I'm or not helping bringing, to get them here. I'm not bringing them, or I'm, I am not bringing them into the country. So, are you saying that I, it's possible to support the Constitution and social justice at the same time? Yes, it is. Amazing. Yes, it is. What type of Christian are you? A Catholic or something? What type of Christian are you? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's, and, it's, like, and it's the same thing. Catholic? I mean, if we were to ask, if we were to ask immigration attorneys, 
you uh, know, whether they're doing right or not. Never trust a lawyer. <laughs> well, I've heard that before, yeah. too. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, you know, it's, they're helping them, you know, legally, you know, get their, get their paperwork in order, get their, you know, try to get them here, trying to re- uh, so They're doing it for the votes. They're Democrats. I'm doing it for the votes. I'm not the one running for I president said they or are anything. Doing that for the votes. Those, those lawyers. I don't. Well, no. Uh, unless they are unless the, that individual lawyer is running for a position, then yes. So you're saying that yes, Jesse, it's possible to support the Constitution and social justice at the same time. That is right. That's amazing. Yes, it is. That's mind blowing. You know, that's why we have a problem with uh, foreigners coming here, because what I noticed today that they come into our country pretending that they want to be Americans and pretending that they love the country, but they end up turning against the country the way that you're doing. You just said, yes, it's fair to support the Constitution and social justice, mm -hmm. but you say you want to come here and be an American, but you're not acting like one. How do you what deal is, with what, how, how does an American supposed to act? By supporting America, by supporting the Constitution. Okay. Not helping an illegal alien break the law to get in here and take advantage of our social services and things like Again, that. Again, we're not helping, as you say, illegal aliens, correct term would be an undocumented people, break the law by coming here. Are they illegal? They're undocumented. Are they aliens? What is an alien to you? An alien is a foreign, no, is a foreign and person. who are trying to come here out through okay. the back door. Are they aliens? Uh, an alien would be, you know... And they someone... weren't born here, so they're aliens, right? Okay. Is that right? Well, they're, they're immigrants. Are they aliens? They would be immigrants. An alien would be someone from another country. In so this are case, they yes. aliens? They come from another country, Correct. right? Correct. They're not U.S. citizens, right? They're not U.S. citizens. So are they aliens? If they are... Here, yes. <laughs> are they aliens? I just answered your question. So the, these people who are coming here from the back door, from other countries, are they aliens? That, that's what, we, that's what uh, here in the U.S. We have, been, we have been labeling them, yes. You're not answering the question. Are they aliens? Are they aliens? Now, if, you're, now, if I'm answering the question, now... If you're ans you, answering me, if you're, you're answering in an un honest way, a dishonest way. Okay. Are they aliens? I'm asking you personally, do you know that they are aliens? Yes or no? Do I know that they are aliens? Now, are we talking Mar Martian aliens or people that, for, can that come from another country? The illegals that are coming from other countries. That is a term that we have given them here. That's not what I ask. Are they aliens? Well, according to... The law, like about you according mentioned, according to you, according to me, uh -huh. uh, then it would be yes, because wow. because that why is what the so because that, that is what the law states. Why is it so? Why was it so hard to be honest? No, I did mention. Do I your did wife say yes. know you're not honest. <laughs> My wife is in the same boat as I am. Oh, we are both just, activists. Yes, so we are. So your wife is in that boat with you? <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. Is she dishonest too? I'm not dishonest. Yeah, you could even say yes. <laughs> And now, a word from our sponsor. Hello, everybody. Troll your liberal family members by getting them our brand new Fallen State t-shirts. On the front, it says, The Fallen State. On the back, it says, That's amazing. And don't forget our coffee mugs. The front, The Fallen State. The back, Did You Have Fun? And don't forget my book, The Antidote, Healing America from the Poison of Hate, Blame, and Victimhood. You can... Out of here. You can go to the Fallen State TV and order now. The uh, Border Angels website uh, says that your work is driven by Matthew Twain. And you guys have the nerve, the audacity, the gall mm -hmm. to quote scriptures. So what was your quote? The Border Angel website says your work is driven by Matthew 25, 35. When I was hungry, you gave me to eat, right? How do right. you guys have the nerve to use the scriptures and do wrong? How's, 
how are we doing wrong again? You keep saying that by, help, by us helping the undocumented, we're doing wrong. Do your children know that you're doing this? My children are also, are also involved in this. But you're leading your kids. You have a responsibility to set mm -hmm. a higher standard, the mm -hmm. higher example for your wife and children. Do you feel like a failure? No, I do not. As a Christian, you don't feel like a failure? No, I do not. You think God is pleased with you that you say you're a Christian, represent him, and you're breaking the law or helping others to break the law? I believe so. Amazing. Is the Border Angel a Christian organization? No, it is not. I didn't think so. Okay. It, we, and, it is, and you can look at it. It's never been uh, mentioned that it is a, a um, Christian organization. So why are you guys using scriptures then? It's a quote that is there. <laughs> it is a quote, like anyone can use a quote. Uh, um, that's amazing to me, man. I'm a little disappointed because you seem like a nice guy. Mm -hmm. And we need men to be men, men of God to be men of God. And not say that they're men of God, but breaking the law. And, and then excuse breaking the law. Mm -hmm. now, aren't you feeling a little bad now? No. You're not feeling bad right no, now? No, not at all. What are you thinking right now? No, I'm, right now I'm just listening to you. Black Americans are being hurt first and foremost by these illegals coming in because a lot of them are ending up in the hood. And they hate black people already because in Mexico, blacks are hated. And so they come here, like in the L.A. area, Compton, Watts, South Central L.A., and they're overpopulating the schools, and the public system is, school system is bad enough already. Okay. They're overpopulating the schools. When they go to the county, when the American black women go to the county facility for health care, they have to wait in long lines. Uh, there are violence going on every day between the blacks and Hispanics. Um, a lot of blacks are having to leave, and when it comes to employment, uh, the businesses are paying the illegal, you know, under the table, or they work for nothing. Does it bother you that blacks are being affected first and foremost by illegal aliens coming into the country? Mm -hmm. Are you bothered by that? No, it, no, I am not. Why? And, and so you don't care because about Because you, you are gen you're making a big generalization no, that, no, no, I'm telling that you because of the Hispanic coming into this country undocumented, you know, we, we are affecting the black. You in, are. In, in black America. But you know that. And, and you're making a big generalization. If that were the case, that means, I mean, it's not just the black. It's no, it's, what, it's what, affecting what's, everybody no. in a negative way. Exactly. But black according to According to what you're saying, it's because of the undocumented that they are affecting everybody. It's almost well, like the food chain here. You know, they're affecting bothered? everybody beginning from the school to work, to medical services, because, because of all the undocumented that right. are in this country. Yes. Now, are you bothered that blacks are, you said no, you're not bothered. No, I'm not bothered. So you don't care about the blacks? I'm not saying I do not do care, care about, about, about the blacks. blacks. Yes, I do. You love the blacks? I do. Then why don't you put them before the illegal aliens says they are American citizens. Who says we need to put people in, in, or in a specific order in order to be served here in the United States? So does it bother you that blacks are suffering? No, no, no. no. Ask, answer me that question. Who says we're supposed to put people in order, in a specific order? So what's it going to be? Is it going to be white, black, Asian, all the way down to Hispanic at the end? You got it. Is that the way it's, it's for you? You got it. <laughs> <laughs> See, I knew you knew. Okay. Well, well I mean, you know, the Constitution says that the American citizens. So, how do you have, feel being being under white America? How do I feel? Yeah. Quite satisfied. <laughs> Why is that? If you're because you should be way up there. Because they built the country, they made it possible for you to come. And how did they, they build this country? They they created a Constitution. So they, I mean, how did they create this do country? Do you love white people? I do. All white people. I I love. I love all white people. Yes, I do. Okay. We, as are Christians, you, we, as Christians, we are entitled to love everybody, whether they are committing acts of hate or not. You know, I just feel sorry for them. You feel that sorry they do, for who? For those people that are committing acts of hate. Like who? Like anyone, anyone, oh. whatever well, race ask, it will you, be. If you love the blacks and they are American citizens, why not put them before the illegal aliens? I'm not saying they're not supposed to be put before the. But why illegal don't you aliens. do that? Then? Huh? Why don't you do that? I'm not saying they're not supposed to. But I, didn't, I, didn't, I never said 
they're supposed to be put in a specific but you're order. you're not putting the blacks first. You're putting the, no, the you're the putting them. First. You're not putting them first. I'm ask, I asked you if they're supposed to be, if we're supposed to classify people in a specific order, and you're telling we're me, yeah, blacks about, are not supposed to be first. We're talking about citizens of this country over the illegal. So let me just get it straight. Well, if, now, people, there's no, there's no, um, if we're, if we're talking services, whether you're documented or undocumented, whether you are a U.S. citizen or not in this country, you know, I do not believe that there should be like a, like a, you know, it's, it's here in this country, we're on a first come, first serve basis. What does that mean? What does that mean? It means that both you and I, let's say, are hurt going to the hospital. I'm the one that's undocumented, for example. And because I get to the hospital first, I should be treated first. No. Why not? Because I'm a citizen, you're not. But it doesn't matter. It does matter. Why doesn't it matter? Okay. It seems like you people have the same it's, attitude. It's like, it's like you drive, going through a drive through You know, <laughs> the, the, the undocumented is in front of you. Do you have to go first? It seems like Yes you, or no. It seems like no, you no, no, no. Yes or no. About the drive through Yeah. Whoever gets in line first, but well, it's we're the same thing with med the it's the same thing with medical attention. aliens and citizens. Mm -hmm. I just I want to move forward. So you're saying, Jesse, I put the illegals before the blacks, and so with all this violence and stuff that's going on with the blacks and the Hispanics, I don't really care because I'm going to look out for the illegals first. Nope, never said that. What are you saying? I never said that. What are you saying? What, that's what you're doing. No. And what what, I, what what you want what you are what you are saying is that the undocumented should come first. No, I'm not saying that. Okay, or you're saying that that's what I am saying. I'm not, oh. I'm not even saying that. What are you saying? Okay, Do I'm just saying I'm just saying, I'm just saying that. Blacks? What was that? Do you feel sorry for the blacks that they are under attack by illegal aliens, including gang members and things like that? It's the same way, you know. Do you do you feel sorry that the that the Hispanic U.S. citizen is under attack by the blacks. I don't feel sorry, but why I, not? They should not be under attack. But we're talking well, they, about well, there you go. They aliens. shouldn't be. We're talking about illegal aliens. So these people, no, are citizens, no, no, no. they are monsters. You can't, fighting. you can't just, you can't just group two people together and say it's they're under attack because they're illegal aliens, like you're saying. When you hear, you know, it's, it's yes, it, it can. can be no, no, because in that same group, there could be black Haitian. Whoa. Wait a minute, now they're what? Aren't they here undocumented too, maybe? No. Why not? Because they come through the front door. <laughs> but they are undocumented. No, I'm There, say there could be black visa. people that are undocumented in that same group, so, and they're being under attack. We just gonna so so, what's, so what's, the, what's the difference here between blacks and Hispanic? There isn't we, any. We're talking about... We're talking two, two, race, two we're races We're talking here. about the illegals coming in and bringing all these problems to black people, and you're saying and you don't really care about that. I'm not saying that. What how you, do you what feel you, knowing no, no, no. that that's happening? You, you know that that's happening. How do you feel about it, knowing it's happening? I do not feel any remorse at all. Because, wow. because let me tell you what. You are classifying, You are classifying the Hispanic group as being just completely, as you say, illegal. Attacking, uh, attacking the black American. I'm only talking about the illegal ones. But see, you can't do that. Why not? Because how, do, how are you going to say that in this group that is fighting right here, all of these people are illegal? Well, I'm talking about the ones that are. But you can't say that. How can, how, can you, how can you visually say that person is illegal or that person is not? And see, that's the problem about you people bringing all these it's people in here. It's the same thing here. with the black. There's a, there's black. I could say maybe you're illegal. Hey, maybe you, maybe you came from South Africa. Hey, maybe, you, you're, maybe you're from Cuba. What's your point? But my point is you can't just say and look at a group of people and say that they are illegal. Why not? How can you distinguish it? Because you... you no, no, no. Have how so, how can you distinguish you. it? By we, we brought, you have brought so many in here now, it's hard to know who is a citizen and who is not. <laughs> okay. Isn't that true? No. <laughs> what do you think of the great white hope? And that is President Donald Trump. What I think about him in what case? Period. Did you vote for him? I did not. And you voted for Hillary? 
I did. You voted for Hillary? I did. What is a man? What is what? A man. Besides the body part, what is a man? It depends on, on how, you, how you define a man. How do you define man? Okay. What, are you a man? I believe so, yeah. Are you a man? Yes, I am. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> you said I believe so, and so you're not really sure. Okay, yes, I am. And so what is a man? What is a man? Well, it, I mean, it depends. Again, someone, someone with a good moral, good standard, or, you know, and examples to, to their family. And okay. so are you a man? Yes, I am. But you're breaking the law. According and to your family your... see you doing this, and you voted for Hillary. Would a real man vote for a lying, cricket Hillary? Who okay. support everything that's evil. Would a real Christian man vote for her? The, here in this country, the good thing is that we have the right to vote for whomever that's we true, like. That's true, but that's not what I asked. Okay. Would a real Christian man vote for a cricket, lying Hillary that support abortion? She has no What's... more standards. She uh, supports same-sex marriage. Do you support same-sex marriage? Yes, I do. You support abortion? Abortion? Uh, everybody has their own rights. That's not what I asked. Do you support abortion? In certain cases, yes. That's amazing, man. Mm -hmm. Well, no wonder you voted for her. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So are you a man? Yes, I am. What is it about you that makes you think you're a man when you're doing everything the way a liberal, godless female would do? Why do you think you're a man? Because I feel it is the right thing. Is it right for two men to get married? I believe they have a right, yes. Did to God get married. give them that right? I believe so. You believe God gave the right to two men or two women to get married? I believe so. I believe so. And why do you believe that? As a Christian man, why do you believe that? Because, you know, as a Christian man, Anyone has a right to love whomever they would like. Homosexual love is love? Yes, it is. Have you ever been in love with a man like that? No, I haven't. Do you know anyone who's in love like that? Yes, I do. And you think that's real love? I believe so. Do you go to church? Occasionally. <laughs> <laughs> do your preacher know you think this way? I don't know. I don't sit and talk with them. How about your wife and kids? They know that you oh, think... Oh, yeah. Amazing. Um... Are you for the big, beautiful wall going up around the border? Am I for the wall? Yeah. Of course not. <laughs> you don't love this country. According to you. No, you don't love the country. Okay. And the reason I say that, because you're not putting your country first. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Because you don't love her. You don't love your country. What, what you is, don't love do, God. Do we need, you do don't we love need, your country. Um, you don't even love your family. <laughs> Do we need to put a wall to say, oh, that's a beautiful wall, and now here I am, I love America. Do we need to, do we need to, do we need to, uh, do I need to make those comments in order for people to say, oh, yeah, I love America? Your action need to speak to that. Right now it's not. <laughs> this is why the white man don't want you here. <laughs> But it goes with the same thing with the black. That's why they, they don't want the black here either. Right, because every they're out day of we hear too. all this violence against the black Can people. Can you imagine building a beautiful home and then you let the foreigners come in and they destroy it? Why would you want anyone here like that? Yeah, and it happens you every might, day. Oh, let me ask. It happens every day. So why wouldn't the white man want them to stay away? It's not, it's not would just. Would you want someone to come into your home that you built mm -hmm. and screw it up? Of course not. So you understand then why the white man doesn't want you here, right? But, but you're saying, you that. again, you're saying that all these causes are done by the undocumented. Or in no, your words, by the illegal. American citizens too. Okay. You're helping them to do it. By the American citizens too. Yeah, by you, like the border angels. Mm -hmm. So you guys are no angels. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Unless you're those bad angels. <laughs> so should Mexico pay for the wall? The Great White Hope said Mexico is paying for the wall. Should they pay? I think the person who proposes something should be able, should be the one to pay. In this case, the U.S. Should we deport the illegals? If there is probable cause, yes. Should we deport uh, MS-13 gang members? If they have cause, yes. 
There is a uh, caravan of illegals at the border right now. Of immigrants, that, yes. Yeah, down at Mexico, down at uh, Tijuana, is that right? They, there were. And where are they now? They, they, right now they are in uh, CB, CBP custody. Over there or over here? Well, custom, uh, <clears throat> border patrol custody, okay? So they have been, they're in the process right now. They're, in a sense, they're pretty much detained by Border Patrol, and they are looking at each case individually to determine whether they allow them to stay in the U.S. or deport them back to their country. Do you think they should be allowed to come in? Like I er mentioned earlier, every case is an individual case. So they, they, it would be determined. And if they, are, if they have probable cause to stay, then, they, then yes, they should stay. This is mind-blowing. Um, are you in favor of extreme vetting for refugees or, or those who are seeking asylum? Well, they have, to, they have to investigate to see whether they are allowed. Are you in favor of that? Yeah, that, yeah. that is the law. I mean, we're not going to allow. Oh, look who we're it's talking the same, about the It's law. the same thing with the NRA. The NRA, anyone that's going to purchase a weapon, a firearm, they're not just going to give it to anyone. That's why they have their own restrictions. Same, the same thing. Yes, it is. It's, it's the, the same thing N with the Border NRA Patrol. are a citizen of this country. Yeah, and, and Border away. Patrol are citizens of this country that need to determine thing. whether they, whether or not they will allow each individual case and person into this country. How about sanctuary cities and states? Are you in favor of that? Yes, I am. SMH. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> <laughs> Are you aware of the 2015 murder of Kate Steinle uh, in San Francisco? No. That was, uh, uh, she and her father walked along the broad, uh, boardwalk there near the beach. An uh, illegal alien uh, who had gone in and out of the country uh, several yes. times. Yes, I am uh, aware. He killed her. And um, so you are aware of that case? I, I do remember that case what a couple years ago. What do you think about ago. that? You think she would be alive today had they kept that illegal alien in uh, Mexico? I believe that she would have been alive today if, yeah, if he would have been kept in, in Mexico. Well, he was deported. Many times. A and couple times, correct. You just go and come Yeah, right I, I do agree with that. And you then know, he, he was deported by and San then, Francisco. Are you okay with that? And then what? He was protected by not turning him over to the um, uh, Department of Justice or whomever they are. He was protected. <clears throat> Do you agree with that? I, I was, I, when I, ICE. should they have turned him over to ICE? I believe so, yes. Uh -huh. Because he had been already, he had committed a felony after multiple times of crossing the border and getting caught. Yes. They, actually commit a felony and yes he should have been deported mm -hmm. and he was but he came back here but they, if they through illegal to, entry should they have supported him reported him to ice i turned him over i believe so uh, the mayor of oakland warned the illegal <coughs> aliens that ice was coming they were going to go there to make arrests of the illegal alien mm -hmm. criminals and all that and the mayor warned them that they were coming was that the right thing for the mayor to do of Oakland, California? Uh, is, I believe Oakland is a sanctuary city? Uh, yes, where the whole state is now. Uh, was that well, right for the mayor to do that? To warn the uh, illegal criminals that ICE was coming? To warn the undocumented that ICE was coming? I believe so. You said that's right. Because to it is, if we are, if we are a sanctuary state, and Oakland is a sanctuary city, then ICE does not have a right to go in. That's the whole purpose of having uh, being sanctuary city. So why are you willing to follow that law, but you don't want to follow the Constitution that says illegals can't come across the border through the back door? They have, they can come through, um, you know, through proper documentation to do as long as they are properly processed. Do you have a wall around your house? We have four walls around our house. Why not take them down? I'll get cold. <laughs> <laughs>
Are you in favor of DACA, the so-called DACA yes, and the Dreamers? Mm -hmm. You understand why we don't want you guys here, right? <laughs> why is that now? Because you got to come here and you turn our country into Mexico. You become lawbreakers. How do we you become well, disrespectful yes. to the country? You fly the Mexican flag. Mm -hmm. You attack the citizens. Um, that's why. I mean, you're talking about disrespect. Yet again, we're one of the few countries that wears the American flag all over, even in our underwear. Who? The United States citizens. And what, what about that? Now, why, why disrespect the flag that way? And you're talking about disrespect. And here, the United States, the people, you know, disrespect the flag. Here you are, you know, here what they talk about... What does that have to do with illegal aliens? Well, you're talking about disrespect and honoring the country right. and this and that. Well, you know, now here, here we, you know, we disrespect it with our, coming from our own homes. Coming from our own home. People Who? wearing the flag. Wearing their flag. Well, the flag. But... These are American citizens. But now you're American also flag. generalizing that, that because of DACA, we are allowing all these criminals just like they are in Mexico. And you're, you're generalizing Mexico as a whole as a criminal country. It have to be because those people are trying to come here. They're not trying to stay in Mexico. A lot of those people that, have, that, are, that are under DACA, they have been here since, since they were children, babies. That's no excuse. I didn't tell their okay. parents to let them come. But then, it do, the, but then again, it doesn't mean that because they've been here since they were Mexico children is, that they're going to be criminals. Mexico is, I believe, the sixth largest, they have the sixth largest economy in the world, right? Is that right? Okay. Why don't you guys stay there and build your own country? <clears throat> you have enough. The economy is the sixth largest if you guys stood up and fight in Mexico the way you fight to get them here, then you can make Mexico great again. <laughs> well, because, you know, Mexico may be rich, and it has, and like you say... Not you know, maybe, it is. It is rich. But so then again, when it comes to... when it comes to the way you fight to break the law and disrespect us once you get here? Why not use that same energy in your country? Because right now, as, as it is... As far as wages go for people to work in Mexico, it is very, because very Because you're not poor. fighting back there. They okay. have the sixth largest economy. You yeah. can fight back and create money. And people have been fighting back. No, you guys are here fighting us. You know, we're not fighting anyone. What do you think of the race relations in America today? Race relations? Race relations. Between whom? There's so many other countries that yeah. we have been involved with. Uh, between the blacks and the Hispanics, the whites and the Hispanics? Mm -hmm. I, I believe that, uh, that the... 20, 20 years ago, and I can tell you this from what I saw when I, when I was first started teaching, there was a lot of problems between the blacks you and the Hispanics. You were a school teacher? I am. Okay. Uh, between the blacks and the Hispanic. Nowadays, there's a lot, of more, there's a lot more unity no. between the black and the Hispanic. There's a lot more unity. Not true. It's still bad. Okay. You know, and it, might, and it might be bad. regional. It might be regional, but it is not as far as country. From what from what we've seen, you know, in the media, it may be fake news, as no, as fake news. your I president see it says. All the time. You know, blacks but and Hispanics do not get along. Well, you know, in your opinion, no, no, my no. opinion, blacks and Hispanics nowadays get along a lot more than what they did in the past. No, not true. Are things getting better, you think, in our country or worse between the races? Things are getting, depends on how you look at it, but things are getting, I believe, better as far as races uniting themselves. Okay? Like I was saying, um, there, there are, nowadays, you know, we have, we have a lot of, like I said, the Hispanic, there's a lot of black, there's a lot of Asian coming together. Okay. Do you understand why the whites don't want you here? I have an idea, but I would like to hear your opinion on that one. I said, do you understand why they don't want you here? I have an idea. What, what's your idea? Okay. Uh, from what it's been embedded, in, especially these last couple of years, from Trump is... You know, oh, they, Trump. from Trump. We've been fighting illegal aliens since the early no, 90s. No, 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 but, but more in these last couple of years... 
He only been during, here during again. his during the campaign and now during the presidency. You know, a lot of it now has been. It seems like it's he's been embedding this oh, white America, you know, utopian kind of country that he's been putting into but into that's the not people. True. President Trump didn't vote President Trump in. The folks voted <laughs> him in, and they voted him in because he said that he would do what's right for the country, and that's what they wanted. The president is doing his, keeping his promise to the people who voted for him. How are you going to no. blame the president? Well, he's the one that is the one that, that comes up with the ideas. Because no, he came up, he got the ideas from the citizens. But which citizens? The American the people who voted for him, the citizens of this country. Those that voted for him. Right. Yeah. But what about those that didn't vote for him? They voted for, for Cricket Hillary. Okay. Or didn't vote at all. They voted for Cricket okay. Hillary because they don't love this country. <laughs> okay. Isn't that right? Well, it was either one of the two candidates or opt out of voting. Do you think America is a racist country? Yes, it is. It is. It's so, becoming, it's becoming so more... So if it's racist, why do they let you people in here? Um, racist as far as, especially these last two, three years, is what I've seen. So a lot it only of, became racist since the president has been in the White House. It has, been, it has become more... Um, we have seen a lot more racist, racism going on since then. Are you an honest man? Yes, I am. You're an honest man. Yes, I am. You are an honest man. <laughs> For the third time as Peter, <laughs> yes, I am. One, uh, two quick things. The founder of your organization, Enrique? Correct. What's his last name? Morones. Morones. <laughs> Called Trump a racist. Do you agree with that? Yes, I do. Amazing. It's like, you know what's real, in all honesty, not that I've been honest through this whole thing, what really just bothered my mind is that the white folks let you guys come into the greatest country on this side of heaven. And the reason you want to come here is on this side of heaven? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And the reason you want to come here because it is the greatest country. And so they made a horrible mistake by creating a constitution that says, let them in. And then you guys come in and you call them racist. <laughs> you know, like a lot you're, of, defeat, you're like turning against the people who are feeding you. People want, do you people see that? Lo people love their countries. No, no, no. No, no, no. People, hear me, hear me out. People, people love their countries, Jesse. Uh, uh, a lot of the people, what they are escaping, they, they are escaping. Their country means the country they're coming their from. Their country that they're coming from. They love their native countries. Yeah, they love their, they need to but stay there and But fight they're, for escaping, them. they're escaping the violence. I mean, if you, if you were to sit and talk with some of these people, you know, they're escaping torture because, you know, a family member was killed. But Not I can't accept that. Do. Exactly. Because we, we they cannot... need to stand up and fight. Just like yeah. they can come here and fight us, they need to stay home and fight. Yeah, but, but that's the reason why they're escaping, because they've been trying to fight for it, and, and it's not, you well, know, the country is not supporting come and help you fight them. over there, but don't come here and fight us, because you guys are fighting us as though we were wrong for not wanting you to come in this way. If you could stop me from going to Disneyland, like the illegal aliens, and the DACA people stood in front of Disneyland down in Orange County, yeah. to prevent me from getting into Disneyland, if you're bold enough to do that as an illegal alien, why aren't you bold enough to stay in your country? They, they were not, they were not, um, these countries do not have the laws that are, that we have here. They're not protected by the same laws Juan, that we have here. Juan, did you have fun? I did. Thank you for coming. <laughs> <laughs> you're welcome. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. No, yeah, you're welcome. We heard the beach siren. They decided our fate. One cup in front and the others in back. The next thing you know, the man is all in your face. They threw us in the hole, made us sit on the ground. Says Kaya Dan, don't be making no sound. It's a never any quest to sneak in the stakes. So you can tell your own spot, tell your own spot, tell your own spot. Hey, hey, go, you talking back to me? Thank you, Mark. You get an immigrant. Thanks for watching The Fallen State. We need your continued support. 
Donate to my nonprofit here. Subscribe and like the videos here. And tell everybody and their mama about the show.